howdy everyone it's Jeannie with paper pixie ink welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different a little while back I had shared a cardstock only folio it was done in black and whites and silvers and I had created my own custom photo mats for within the folio and they were really basic they were just little little photo mats that had snowflakes on them and then I double matted um, some mats on top of those and I had a number of people reach out um, on Facebook DM and Instagram asking how I had created those so I wanted to show you because it's really really simple and really you can do this on any you know any platform that allows for this so I used my brother Scan and Cut, I could have used my Silhouette Cameo, I could have used a Cricut, um, I'm sure there's others, those are the ones that I have and I'm familiar with. Um, I am going to show you how to do it on the Brother Scan and Cut and if there is any interest let me know in the comments and I can do it on other platforms as well. So all I did was I opened up my Brother Scan and Cut this a little bigger and then I grabbed a rectangle <laughs> this is literally all I did and you can size it to you know whatever size you want so if you want the original photo mat to be a I don't know a <laughs> a four by a four by six for example you would just change it under under this section, under edit, you would change the width and the height to whatever you want it. Now, if it's going to be a mat, I would recommend that you change it to be something bigger than the size of your photo. So if you're doing a four by six photo, then you might want to change your mat to six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So just like that. And then all I did was I went online and I searched through free SVG files and if you're looking for like basic shapes and and you know basic um, like snowflakes or you know Christmas ornaments or I don't know um, hearts or little you know cartoony chicks or anything like that anything that you can find like a silhouette of there are tons of free resources online to get those free downloads and all I did was I found one for snowflakes I downloaded it <laughs> I opened it up and then I attached it so obviously the snowflake is a little bit big for what I'm looking for so I'm just going to decrease the size of it and this looks okay you can always change it you can rotate it you can do whatever you want and I'm just gonna grab it and I am going to dump it right on my corner so let's say I like that like that I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna copy it so to do that all you have to do is I'm just highlighting it so you click on it you get the highlights on it I just hit I use a Mac so I hit command C and then command V if you're on a Windows control C control V um, I just find all of my design software for my various machines work better on my Mac I'm not sure why I just find that so you could also you know right click on it and copy and paste but um, you can also use other you know design tools it's just it's a lot easier to do command C command V <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna grab it and the way that you know you are on it to grab it is there when you're on the actual image you'll get a little kind of like compass looking icon next to where your cursor is so if you're if you're not on it then you can see my cursor doesn't have a little icon beside it but when I'm on it it does so I'm just gonna drag it and stick it up in my corner and then I am going to 
select them all and to do that I just click on an area where I know that when I drag it down it's going to be able to select all the items because like you like click within you know here it's not going to select everything you want to make sure that you're clicking somewhere where you're going to be able to select everything so if I clicked here and I just went here I wouldn't select this one so you just want to make sure that you're selecting everything same as like if I did here I'm not selecting this one here in the top I'm only selecting these so pretty simple so I'm going to select them all and then also under this section I'm going to go down to process overlap and I'm going to under shapes I'm just going to click on this one right here and this is going to create my file so when I go to cut this it's going to cut this and that's really all there was to it <laughs> um, obviously depending on your machines depends on your you know your cut settings and the type of material that you're using to cut it so I'm not going to go into all the details for that but I wanted to show you how quickly and easily you can create your own custom photo mats and again you can do this with anything so I could have done this with say you know a, I don't know a daisy um, and then the only other thing that I did was I just created some additional mats that were just rectangles that were I created two of them decreased the size of them minusculely <laughs> Um, for each one so that they were you know the same sizes as, or the same shape as this but um, sizes that were you know incrementally smaller you could do one you could do none I mean you could just cut this and then mat your your photo directly on here I just did multiples because I like the way that it looked and I thought I, it added a little bit more to the aesthetic of the book because the book what or the folio was just black white and silver so I matted them all I did silver foil for this mat and then I did black and white so entirely up to you but you can see how incredibly simple and easy it is to accomplish this on your own without much effort at all if you are interested in just getting a copy of this svg file there will be a link in the description below where you can sign up for my newsletter and you will be taken to the page where you can just right click and save the file so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, if you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Thanks everyone.